Okay. Well, I, a lot of time has passed since my last video was published. About eight months. As you can see, a lot has changed in this printer. But in this video, I want to go back to some original footage that I filmed eight months ago and describe the exact process of how I went from the old extruder slash hot end assembly to this new one. Here I have most of the pieces of the upgraded extruder mechanism. This is the plate where the bearings are going to mount and this is where the belt goes in. I've decided to make it a direct drive. So this is the place where the stepper motor is going to go. And I've modeled it off of inspiration from the Prusa. Hot end is going to be held in here. There's going to be a fan right here blowing air across this way. On the other side of this, this is going to go on top of here like this. And these two holes here and here are what's going to hold the part cooling fan. Here's the arm for the extruder mechanism, but it turns out that I undersized it. The bearing won't properly fit. So I'm going to have to uh, expand that a bit and then reprint it. And this extruder arm is supposed to be, go right here. So the other half of the extruder, the part that goes right here, is currently printing. I am also going to zip tie the bearings into here and screw these three pieces together. Here's the new and improved Gibson Mini with its new direct drive hot end assembly. First print went really well. There's no more rippling artifacts that you can see in this print. The walls are all smooth. The other thing I need to fix with this new extruder system is that these springs are too strong to the point where I can't compress them enough separate the idler and pivot around like this. So one of the things that I'm working on is remodeling this piece to allow for these screws to pivot upward. As you can see, these screws have the ability to pivot and all I need to do to release the filament is to push back on this and there we go.